on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Eagles and the Seahawks, and it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. It's a stadium known for its design, its noise, and a fan base so passionate. Rob, you know this firsthand. They've retired a jersey number for them. Welcome, everybody, to Lumen Field here in Seattle, Washington. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to, because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today, because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop... Kickoff taken at the three. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. So here come the Eagles for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their rookie starter out of Michigan State University. You know, Kate, sometimes they say great quarterbacks are like great point guards. And much like we measure point guards in basketball with the assist to turnover ratio, and you love a three to one assist to turnover ratio that will win you ball games, same with quarterback. Three touchdowns, one pick. Big old win last week. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. We get a look here at the receiving numbers for him from last week. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. And the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. That's certainly a spot where you could be more aggressive, Kate, if you want to take your shots. But some coaches, even the bolder ones, will take the safe play first when they get it from time to time. No third down required now. To the air now on first and ten. He'll get this one to Brown. And this one doesn't go far. Hey, Kate, you know this from covering the Seahawks calling their preseason game. When Pete Carroll was there, if he said it once, he said it a hundred times. Stay on top, stay on top, stay on top. You'll give up a short little out route like that, but just stay on top of the deep threat. And this goes across midfield and into Seahawks territory. Third and just two to go. A motion Brown right. The handoff on third and short. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. And he's brought down, but there's some laundry on the field. Offside. Defense. And no surprise here, they decline the flag because the play got a first down, so they're going to happily let it stand. They've worked it downfield very well to begin the drive. It's first and 10 at the 28. Throwing from the gun here. Kicks made over the middle. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that's a Philadelphia first down. Working inside the red zone. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he has it down to the eight yard line of the play. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. He'll throw it. Gets it towards the end zone, but it's incomplete. Yeah, that's one that's going to haunt him. There's just no question about it. He dropped touchdown in the end zone. Now comes the mental toughness part of it. You've got to flush that play quickly so you can make it impact later. And that one's incomplete for now. It brings up fourth. Let's see what this penalty flag is all about. So the refs get him for holding, and that's going to back this offense up. 
They're gonna throw it on third and long. Finds his man en route complete. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. So out come the Seahawks for their first offensive possession. They'll be led out by the former first-rounder back in 2017, Deshaun Watson. A bit of an uneventful outing individually last week, Kate. A touchdown and a pick for him, but the last team memory, well, there's no question about it, walking off that field with the loss. That stings. No doubt he feels he could have done more to prevent that result. So expect to see a motivated individual taking snaps here this week. Here's Watson. Dump off complete to his running back. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Now following that completion, we see a man shaken up. Officials calling for a pause as he gets looked at. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 34. He rolls to his right. He's on the move. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock, you know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm, especially in a situation like that. And it's a good thing you woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep it moving forward. And he'll get them enough for a first down. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. On first down, they'll run. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Brings up second and ten at the 39-yard line. Running with Walker again. And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Throwing off the play fake here. Cut by Lockett. And out of bounds right at the 40-yard line. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And third and short in your back pocket. You can get even more aggressive and take that shot. And he works this to the 38 before going down. He brings the offense up now for a first and 10. Only a solitary field goal so far as we're through one quarter. Just a field goal separates these two. More from Lumen Field in just a minute. About set for the second quarter. Seahawks football here. They're looking at yet another first and ten on this drive. Staying with Walker. And they're going to stop him after he runs it inside the 35. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five. Throwing is Watson. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Pride getting it to Tyler Lockett. And it'll be third and five coming up. Watson looking to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And it sets up Seattle with first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. From the red zone now. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle! The Seahawks finish off their opening drive. 
We've seen him do a lot more to reach the end zone on a catch, Brock. That one, that one just kind of fed right to him. Yeah, they say the running backs have a nose for the end zone. You know who else does? Every skill guy out there yeah. because they want to put a touchdown on the board. Now they'll try the point after. And the extra point is up, and it is good. The kicking team ready for the Seahawks, and forward they run to send it away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. Now for the second time this game, we're gonna look at the Philly offense. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. They're out and set, first and 10. They'll come out throwing. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's short of the first after a mild game. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. into the air here quick hitter complete and he'll pick up enough to move the chains markers reset ball at the 37 to throw here on first down tight end reels in the shallow throw and he's got a decent game before being brought down well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play moves it forward Keeps you on schedule. It makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Seahawks bringing the pressure, and they got it! And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. Okay, I've seen a one-step drive. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth. But a 20-step drive? <laughs> That's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. This offense looking to converge as they come up on third down. Setting up a throw. That's complete. Here's Brown. Jukes one defender. And he's going to be blocked down after reaching the 43. So third and 16, no problem for them as they get the first. So many times, Kate, when I see these receiver screens, I think punt return. It's like a punt return. On punt return, it's all about those blocks. The returner's got to catch it, and he's got to feel those blockers in front of him. It's no different on a big play like this with the wide receiver screen. They'll run here on first down. And with a nice skein, he runs him down inside a field goal range. Call it nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one. To throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he takes it across the 30 before heading out. Well, the good part is he did bring that play to a stop. Unfortunately, looks like he got banged up on the tackle. He's in some discomfort out there. They'll come up first and 10. They're throwing it. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. And the Seahawks as he reports the first interception of his young career. He was trying to fit it into a window in the zone coverage, but by the time he let it go, boy, Brock, that lane had closed and someone was there to make a play on it. What you're trying to do in zone coverage defensively is make that quarterback see a window that isn't actually there. And as soon as he takes the bait and sends it over the middle, well, you got one, two, three defenders all there in range to go pick it off. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Now an inside give to Walker. And he's into the front for a game of about two. I think 
one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Open receiver, caught. And then with the stop up at the 46-yard line. They'll get 18 yards there. And the Seahawks will have a first down. New set of downs for them from the 46. Play action on first down. And that one's incomplete. You need to buy your receivers enough time to get open along the route. And your quarterback enough time to find and hit them with the throw. And the line doesn't hold up. Incompletions follow. They'll run now on second down. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. We get a stoppage here. One of their big blockers up front. In some pain following that play. He's being attended to. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. To throw, here's Watson. That won't be caught outright, it's incomplete. I think you're seeing why they like this guy in coverage, man. He reacts well to throws and is so adept in breaking up passes right through contact or before they ever reach the target. Punt team is on now and they get this away. Philadelphia getting ready to go on offense. And a nice drive last time out, Brock, squandered by that interception. So I think they take a repeat of everything except that final play. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Pass play coming here. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Motion in one of the tight ends. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. The Seahawks calling for a timeout. So they're first to three. Here's someone from a family of punters, Ryan Stonehouse, on the punt on four. He was only needed twice in last week's win, and he gets this one away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That's going to be a highlight there, a 68-yard punt. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Fires over the middle, caught. And they're taken down at the 43-yard line. They pick up 20 yards there. And it sets up Seattle with first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Shotgun snap, they're going to throw. He's on the move. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Another try following the sack. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Picked up by the Kobe Dean. And the Eagles are going to have it. And he's going to hang on to that football. That's his first career interception. That's so cool. He really did it all for him, didn't he? First, he forced the turnover, and then he set them up in a better spot with a really nice return. Yeah, he had designs on doing the scoring for him, too. One more move, and he might have broken it for six. The Eagles back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. And they're set up well inside of enemy territory. They've got a short field after that pick. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Looking for a throw here. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how. I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball. And over time, it's going to make you pay. Is hauled in by the running back. And 
they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. Third down, one yard to go. They'll try and throw it here. And he scores! It's a Philadelphia touchdown! The Eagles get some late points and the lead. So Brock, good work there to finish off the drive in the end zone, and we take the lead. You just get this feeling every once in a while in games, this sucker's going to be a back-and-forth football game. So what a great job offensively to jump out in front here in the first half of play. Now Jake Elliott on to attempt the extra point. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. The kick team out there for the Eagles, and this one is sent away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. He was looking DK Metcalf's way there. And that'll bring up second down. Watson. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. Philadelphia going to spend its second time out. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. And the birds bring out the nickel. Look, third down coming up. Well, last play didn't work out too well. Looks like they're going ground game now. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. The Eagles decide to spend their third and final timeout. Seahawks bring it out the punt team. Absolutely crushed his first punt. And here's another huge one. Fair catch made here at the 30-yard line. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And that is where they'll start the next drive. They've got Blackjack on the clock. Not a ton of time to use before halftime. Back to throw on first and ten. Seahawks bringing the pressure, and they got him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. We've got enough data now through the years to understand that an explosive play on offense more often than not leads to scoring. We also know that you can create a negative play defensively. In a tightly contested game like this, every play matters. And to get that negative play, put this offense on their heels, exactly what this defense needs. All right, Kate, thanks very much. More from you and Brock in a moment. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here and what's already been an eventful afternoon of football. We'll start by heading out west, State Farm Stadium in Glendale. And it's the home side who have the lead as they play the second quarter. Devontae Smith, a touchdown reception. From there, we make the trip east as we head all the way to Jacksonville to check on the Jags. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting LA Rams. Gabe Davis, a touchdown reception. Finally, we'll save the biggest for last as we head to AT&T Stadium to see what's happening with the Cowboys at home in Arlington. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Green Bay Packers. Dak Prescott, excellent in the victory as his guys moved to three and one after four games. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break, as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. Set first and ten. They send the tight end in motion left. They give up the gut to Walker. 
And he drives that front backward on a gain of four. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. It gets you good yardage. It sets up your play action. And it keeps that defense on. They get to him and take him down, but there's a flag on the play. Gonna have to see about this penalty. All right, this is a little bit odd. I think in most spots, we'd expect to see them decline the call, take the lost yards, and down. All I can think of here is they've got some extreme confidence, maybe hubris in their defense, to make a similar type of play, but just tack on even more negative yards lost. I wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Watson to throw it. The Eagles swarm in and take him down. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. In theory, Kate, that's exactly what complimentary man coverage is supposed to look like. The DBs, well, they're sticky on the back end of it. The front end, that pass rush, it makes an impact. It gets home. But, of course, we know it's not that simple. It is really tough to lock down a full field for more than a second or two. They'll send out the punting unit. Getting about 50 yards of boots so far, and here's another quality effort. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Eagles and this running back headed back out for a new series. That punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And they'll begin this possession in just a moment. Eagles in a good spot here as they come up to the line, first and 10. Lone back to the backfield, and they give it to him. And he's downed after getting this up to the 41. Solid four-yard gain there. And now they've got second and six coming up. From the 41. Got a man. Coverage lost him. Complete. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles push their lead further to start the half. So no mistaking that play call, Brock. They send everybody on deep goes, and it winds up paying off. What a play. And you'd think on the other side, defensively, they'd be ready for this. But this is truly a breakdown in the secondary. Mm -hmm. They're just not able to make a play on the ball in the air. And the end result, as you said, a big play and a touchdown. Elliott on now to attempt the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The kick team out there for the Eagles. And this one is sent away. Kickoff taken at the three. Returns looking good so far. And they'll start this drive in good position. A little shy of the 40. The Seahawks in good field position to start this drive off as they head up to the line. First and ten. Design bootleg here. Pass taken in by Lockett. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. He's got it. Room to run. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Third and a lone yard coming up. Walker running to the right. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. They stop him just short and force a fourth and one. So close to a big loss of yards for those guys up front. One second sooner, and they got him tackled behind the line. But a stop to celebrate nonetheless. Their punter making his way out now. Michael Dixon will kick it away. Averaging a little under 50 a kick so far, Brock, as he gets away another one. The Eagles are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. 
And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Here's the one back on the handoff. And the defense gets there to force a small long. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Out of the gun, he'll look to throw. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And he's going to get this up to the 26 before being taken down. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give the quarterback a chance. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Big gainer here as he picks up 20. And that's good for an Eagles first down. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. Man, did he make an impact play. Option give here. Makes a cut to the right sideline. And he heads out of bounds. Great pickup on that run. It's a 21-yard gain. And that's a Philadelphia first down. It seems like a lot of the time, Brock, even if the results aren't quite as flashy every rep, tight ends are even more reliable scores than a lot of receivers are when it comes to the passing game. Yeah, I would agree with that, but there's also a lot more real estate for them to work mm. with, right? Think of the receivers. they got to deal with the sidelines, that 12th defender. Many of these tight ends, they've got a ton of field to work with, and when they prove to the quarterback they could be a difference maker, he'll look for them. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The kick team out there for the Eagles. And this one is sent away. Return coming from the six. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. Drive starts out with a first and ten. To the ground with Walker. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield. Back who can show off his wheels. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. Brings up second and a yard. Fakes the handoff. Now to throw. He finds the open man there. Complete. And he's across for the score. But along the way, a flag came out. So let's see who this one's on. The Seahawks shave some off the deficit late in the quarter. Offense. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That earns the holding penalty. The mower, Running it after the penalty. And he's brought down for a loss. So a tough spot now. This is third and nine. So we're through three here. It's not quite over yet, but it'll take a pretty miraculous comeback. We've got a three-score game as we get set to start the fourth quarter.
Drive in dire straits. It's third and nine. Throwing is Watson. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That was a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it. No place to go. They get him to the turf and force a turnover on downs. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. Well, this one never had a chance. Between the pressure right there in his face and the coverage downfield, quarterback still should have at least thrown it up there and given somebody an opportunity to make a play. The Eagles ready to set up shop on offense. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. Man, they've made some music, right? Great mm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays that follow. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Back-to-back -back carries here. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. It's only a gain of one. Back-to-back -back misfires on the ground, and they're facing third and long. Back to the well again. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Only two yards on that carry. They're left with fourth and ten. Jake Elliott out to put up three for the Eagles. From the right hash, 52 yards out. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that extends the lead to 20. Get another shot across the bow of a ship that's already sinking here, Kate. He could have made that field goal. Heck, he could have turned around and kicked it directly at his coach because it feels like they've got this one in hand. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Seahawks offense taking the field now. And the last time we saw Brock, they took a risk, went for it on their own half of the field, but it didn't work out. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They're going play action. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw for something. It brings up second down. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. Into the hands of Walker. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. That just might be a throw he regretted as soon as you let it go. I know that feeling. He was doing all he could to find a completion down the field, but they were all over that check down and ready to turn it into a negative play. Won't make the play on that one. It hits the deck incomplete. You know, when we were growing up in the backyard, we call them alligators. One alligator, two alligator, three alligator. He needed another alligator in order to get that ball off. Credit the defense for forcing the incompletion. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Picked up by the Kobe Dean. And the Eagles are going to have it after his second interception of the season. Wow, an aggressive choice to go for it on fourth and that kind of distance. And an equally aggressive play in coverage to pick that pass off. Yeah, that down and distance, you're not running it, right? Too far to get to the stick, so that defense had all eyes on the quarterback. They knew that pass was coming. And it's one thing to know it, it's another thing to execute it and go take it away. That's a big momentum swing for this defense. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. come out throwing and he scores it's a Philadelphia 
touchdown. The Eagles capitalize on the turnover and add to their lead. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. Sometimes these dudes can be a quarterback's best friend, finding the tight end in the end zone for six. And it really has been that way for decades when you think about it, Kate. From John Mackey to Tony Gonzalez to Travis Kelsey, the position could be such a mismatch when you're throwing for the end zone. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The kick team out there for the Eagles, and this one is sent away. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The, the offense Seahawks. will come onto the field. The Seahawks offense running out now. And you know that interception is in the back of their minds as they head back out there now. Ball at the 33 for first down. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. They dump it off to the back. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. Holding offense. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Here's Watson. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. That makes it second down. Throwing now off play action. He's throwing deep to the left side. And it falls incomplete. Went for the deep ball there, but just couldn't connect. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Now they'll throw out of the gun. Cut by Lockett. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. You know, I don't mind the scheme. In fact, I like the call. Just not on that third down in particular. Need to get it closer to the sticks to have a chance to move those chains. Desperation time on fourth down. He lofts it deep left. This is brought in at the 15. Touchdown! He made the catch and took it the rest of the way. The Seahawks take a small chunk off that lead. Well, Brock, this one has not been good to them so far, but they are still fighting and able to get in there for six. Just a drive that was all about scratching and clawing. As much as anything, Kate, it was just a pride drive to go and get your job done. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. scores their hand is forced they're gonna try the onside kick here and the onside kick doesn't pan out the Eagles make the recovery and they'll get him down after he gets into the 48 oh hang on there hang on a moment looks like we've got an injured player on the kick return they're gonna check on him now first and ten ball set up at the 48 Give on the counter. And he runs into a wall there. Multiple defenders ready to stop him cold at the line. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. He's going to throw this one. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Throwing from the gun here. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. Oh, look at those savvy linebackers. They're just right in the middle of everything, aren't they, Kate? And it seems like at times they are the quickest reactions as well. You needed a quick one right there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. So this one will go out of bounds and they'll start the drive inside their own 30. Now Seattle all set to go here on offense. And they're coming off an excellent series throwing the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. To throw, here's Watson. Quick hitter complete. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. 
Second and three. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. Working quickly here. They'll throw on third and long. That's cut for the first. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Complete out to the right. And he's stopped at the 31 yard line. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Pass complete to Walker. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. So we're down to the two-minute warning here from Seattle. Seahawks hoping to make it look a little better before time runs out. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 29. Tight end cut across the middle. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. Working inside the red zone. The throw is caught. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the 1. Offense hurrying to the line with the clock running. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. Now Seattle going to call it second timeout. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call is going to be on third down. Kate, you just know as a quarterback there's situations where you're going to gain the trust of the play caller or quickly lose it. And when you take back-to-back -back sacks, you've lost the trust of your coordinator. And this is caught. It's a Seattle touchdown. The Seahawks lower the deficit they face. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> I think yes on both of them, and that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. And the kick is good, and we're going to have some extra yardage added to the kickoff on the roughing call. A fortunate break for them as they get a gift with roughing the kicker. Their offense heading back out to keep things going. So even after the score, they're still down two possessions. Time not exactly on their side as they try this onside kick. And the fumble recovery is made. No question they wanted the ball back late, but you don't see many of these recovered by the kicking team in the NFL. You see even fewer recovered when they're actually expecting it, like they certainly were right there. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year's over. Eagles in a good spot here as they come up to the line, first and 10. And he takes a knee. Now the Seahawks are gonna spend their third and final timeout. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. And they'll kneel this one down. There's still some time to bleed off the clock, but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So the Eagles will fly out of here with a road win. And they're continuing to survive among the final remaining unbeaten teams across the NFL as they're now up to a 3-0 start. So for Brock Heward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time.
Defend it! 